Hi family, who are your favorite superheroes? Is it Superman, Batman, Iron Man? Well, whoever it is, we're pretty sure he or she is as awesome as you are. You might be wondering why we are asking this. Well, for this video, we will be talking about the powers of a corporation. The topic begins at section 36 of the Corporation Code. This section states the powers and capacities of a corporation, which are the following to sue and be sued in its corporate name, the capacity of succession by its corporate name for the period of time stated in the Articles of Incorporation and the Certificate of Incorporation, to adopt and use a corporate seal, to amend its Articles of Incorporation in accordance with the provisions of this code, the Corporation Code, to adopt bylaws not contrary to law, moral, or public policy, and to amend or repeal the same in accordance with this code. In cases of stock corporations, to issue or sell stocks to its subscribers and in cases of non-stock corporations, it has the power to admit members to the corporation. To purchase, receive, take, grant, hold, convey, sell, lease, pledge, mortgage, real and personal properties, including securities and bonds of another corporation, as the transaction of the lawful business of the corporation may reasonably and necessarily require to enter into merger or consolidations with other corporations, to make reasonable donations for these institutions, provided that no corporation, domestic or foreign, shall give donations in aid of any political party or candidate or for purposes of partisan political activity to establish pension, retirement, and other benefit plans for its directors, trustees, officers, and employees, and lastly, to exercise such other powers as may be essential or necessary to carry out its purpose as stated in its Articles of Incorporation. Next, we have Section 37, which deals with the power to extend or shorten corporate term. A corporation may only extend or shorten its term when the following conditions are met. In case of extension, any dissenting stockholder may exercise his appraisal right. We have next, Section 38, which talks about the power to increase or decrease capital stock, incur, create, or increase bonded indebtedness. It may only do so provided that such following conditions are met. Any increase or decrease in capital stock shall require prior approval from the Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC. The Commission shall not accept for filing any certificate of increase of capital stock unless accompanied by a sworn statement of the current treasurer of the corporation showing that at least 25% of such increase has been subscribed and that 25% of the amount subscribed has been paid. No decrease of the capital stock shall be approved if its effect shall prejudice the rights of cred corporate creditors. For non-stock corporations, it shall meet such condition. Section 39 deals with the power of the corporation to deny preemptive right. What is preemptive right? Preemptive right is a right conferred to all stockholders to acquire new shares before the same is offered to the public. In other words, the stockholders have the first option to buy. All stockholders enjoy such right to subscribe to all issues of shares in proportion to their respective shareholders, unless denied by the Articles of Incorporation. Section 40 covers the sale or this other disposition of assets. The sale, lease, exchange, mortgage, pledge, or disposition of assets, as well as its goodwill, should be authorized by the vote of the stockholders or members representing at least two-thirds of the outstanding capital stock or members at a meeting duly called for the purpose. After such authorization from the stockholders or members, the board of directors or trustees may, in its discretion, abandon such without any further approval by the stockholders or members. Section 41 discusses the power of the corporation to acquire its own shares. A corporation may only do such when it has unrestricted retained earnings to cover the shares to be purchased. Now, why would a corporation purchase its own shares? Well, it is to eliminate fractional shares arising out of stock dividends, to collect or compromise an indebtedness to the corporation and to purchase delinquent shares, and to pay dissenting or withdrawing stockholders entitled for payment for their shares. 
Section 42 then speaks about the power of a corporation to invest corporate funds in another corporation. It shall only be possible when the following conditions are met. In case of any dissenting stockholder, he may exercise his appraisal right. It shall be noted that investment in another corporation should be reasonably necessary to accomplish its primary purpose. Section 43 deals with the power of corporations to declare dividends. A corporation should only declare dividends out of its unrestricted retained earnings which shall be payable in cash, in property, or in stock to all stockholders. Dividends are payable only when there are profits earned. If there are profits earned as a general rule, the board of directors has the discretion whether or not dividends are to be declared. Also, take note that creditors of a corporation are preferred over the stockholders in the distribution of corporate assets. Section 44 is the power to enter into management contracts of corporations. Again, it shall only be possible when it meets the conditions stated. In addition, no management contract shall be entered into for a period longer than five years for any one term. Lastly, we have Section 45 of the Corporation Code which relates to ultra-virus acts and it states that no corporation under this code shall possess or exercise any corporate powers except those conferred by this code or by its articles of incorporation and except such as are necessary or incidental to the exercise of the powers so conferred. ultra virus acts are those acts which are outside the scope of powers conferred by the code or the corporation's articles of incorporation. These are all powers of the corporation. That was a lot, wasn't it? Well, what's your superpower? Superman, Batman, Spider-Man. Thank you for listening. Brought to you by Leila Sal.